watching News 8 Now. I'm Tracy Sable. And I'm Steve Minnick. A major drug bust in Lewiston, Auburn. U.S. Attorney Thomas Delahanty says following a sweep of the area, 24 people are facing charges, including 14 who will appear in federal court. One man was charged with maintaining a drug involved premises. A charge Delahanty says will be used more frequently as law enforcement targets people who provide a safe haven for drug dealers. A federal judge has denied antitrust claims by a labor union looking to block the sale of the Verso paper mill. U.S. District Court Judge John Woodcock issued his decision in Bangor today, saying the union did not prove that the sale would create a monopoly within the paper industry. All this happening as there are three other parties apparently interested in not only buying the mill, but resuming production. AIM has not announced their intentions for the facility. And while Maine has seen its fair share of cold temperatures this winter, the snow is another story. And the lack of snow is having a serious effect on snowmobiling, an industry which usually contributes more than $300 million a year to the state's economy. But not only are the trails bare here in the south, but even north in Aroostook County is having its difficulties. Motel owners say rooms that are usually packed with riders are sitting empty. And thank you for joining us here on News 8 Now. And make sure you check back at WMTW.com on our mobile app for the top stories and weather anytime. Have a great evening.